Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video today. We are here with a tier list video. I know it's been a minute since I did one, but here we are. We got new NPCs in Terraria 1.4, so I thought, you know, let's do a new one. And today, we're making a tier list here on all the NPCs, including my boy McMoney Pants here. And, you know, we're gonna make a tier list here, obviously based on opinions, based on usefulness. That's really it, just those things right there. We already know that we're gonna disagree with each other, so go ahead, leave it in the comments. Comments, I guess I can't stop you but yeah let's get to it we got S tier A tier B tier C tier and straight up F tier I don't think any of these NPCs are really gonna be in F tier if any at all maybe like one or two but let's get to it right away you know 1.4 there's three new NPCs or a lot more than that five NPCs I believe added to 1.4 and three of them are animals now I thought it would be rude and mean not to include them in this tier list so automatically let's put the dog NPC boom S tier bunny NPC boom s tier and of course the cat s tier all animals all adorable i love that they added this feature very very nice next up in s tier since we're thinking about this in usefulness okay npcs that are useful your mind automatically shifts to the guide now i don't remember if i did an npc tier list in the past specifically with all npcs i think i had separate ones of the male and female npcs i don't remember at all but my opinions have definitely changed uh, especially with potions if i ever do another potion tier list but my opinions had changed on certain NPCs. For example, the guide, he's the number one thing that comes to your mind and he's not always useful. He's not always useful, but especially when a new update comes out, he's our source of information. There's no wiki updated yet. So I'm gonna give him a, a low S tier is what I would say, because he is also our source to get into hard mode, our source to farm all the wall of flesh goodies. And you know, I found him very useful during 1.4, which I will say I have not beaten yet. When I was looking at all these NPCs and studying their inventories got a couple spoilers got a couple spoilers revealed it's all good it was bound to happen but yeah the guide i'm gonna consider him a low s tier maybe even a medium s tier he's been very useful to me next up another s tier for sure is the goblin tinker when he isn't breaking weapons or playing hide and go seek in the caves for me he's a very useful npc those reforges are life-saving you can definitely beat the game without reforges you could be the whole game without armor and a copper short sword if you're good enough but this npc definitely takes the load off gives you more defense gives you more damage gives you more crits you know whatever and he also supplies you with the tinkers table which is an essential for making better accessories all right our next npc here on the s tier is a new npc and that is the zoologist you know all weird fetishes aside all bestiality aside whoa <laughs> she is a very very useful npc and she's connected to one of my favorite features of 1.4 and that is the bestiary the more you learn in your bestiary the more stuff she sells and she sells so much useful stuff and she sells a bunch of fun just mess around items too she's also the source of how you get the pets you know the dog the cat the rabbit all that and she's just an overall great npc fine addition to the game and i'm glad that she's a part of the rest of the terraria npcs now when it comes to any other npc becoming s tier you know we might slowly find some and pick some out but i'm looking at this list here and i don't think any of them are s tier there can be some debate with the uh, merchant the fisherman and a couple of other npcs here uh you may be thinking like gamer is the nerd she's s tier well they kind of made her a little bit more expensive in 1.4 she's still good but i think i'm gonna have to give her an a a low a tier or a b tier those prices man especially in master mode those prices are killer you're gonna be dying a lot in master mode unless you're playing you know carefully around every corner but even then a slight mistake gold is gone you can't just be like let me heal at the nurse real quick because she's gonna cost you an arm and a leg if you're not early game now when you have like 100 to 200 health it's still kind of cheap couple silver but then you get to around 400 health and you try to heal when you respawn she's gonna be charging you gold for that so honestly i'll put it at like a high b tier moving on i think we should just go down the list or just pick them out at random maybe let's just pick them out at random but let's start with the fisherman fisherman very useful npc fishing in terraria is very therapeutic but it's also very very time consuming and can be very boring and repetitive so i'm gonna put him in b tier his loot is very very nice he's honestly one of the best sources for the first mount so i, I give him a high b tier he's pretty much a tier but just because you know sometimes i do get tired of fishing I put, i'll put him there next up this man right here it should be the face of 1.4 not really but this man right here he has helped me out you put this dude in a graveyard gives you the quad barrel shotgun i'm gonna 
put him in A tier because every playthrough I've done so far, I haven't done a class playthrough yet because, you know, I'm just trying to experience everything in the game first before I separate myself to one class. The arms dealer here sells you the quad barrel shotgun, which is not the greatest gun when you look at it. It's got a crazy spread. That's really it. It just has a crazy spread. But that crazy spread is super effective against certain bosses and that shotgun has saved my life in master mode. So him, I'm putting him in A tier. Listen, we'll say like a low A tier. He's honestly probably B tier. But just because as of recently, he's been helping me out. That's my boy. Next up, we got the dude that sells clothes. Now, all he does is sell clothes. He doesn't really offer a benefit to the game other than looking cool. And you know, looking cool is always a part of something. He's going to see tier i'm very sorry chippy but it's the truth man he sells like what one weapon maybe two if you put him in a graveyard but in terms of usefulness i just can't see him being any higher next up we got the cyborg this npc right here he actually got a couple things added to his item pool in terms of what he sells he sells a couple new rockets so he's a little bit more useful but i cannot see him being higher than a c tier a reason why i'm so hesitant to put this dude in a tier is because he is a single class thing we're gonna move him to b tier okay just because he sells only to a single class which can bring a lot down because if you're not playing that class the npc is completely useless to you but the cyborg he's a lot better than he was before i probably would have put him in f tier before if i didn't already next up let's grab a random one the pirate the pirate i'm pretty sure has nothing new at all which kind of just makes him useless we'll put him in c tier i wouldn't say f tier he's still cool you can use him for ocean pylons you know next up let's grab another random the tavern keeper i'm gonna put him in b tier question mark c tier another class specific npc here uh the old one's army is cool a little hard in single player if you don't got the right setup but he's a very class specific npc he literally only sells summoner armor with a couple of hybrid things in there for other classes and i don't know if all the work is worth going through just to get those items i just want to put this in right here i never really buy the old ones army armor sets because you know i play a lot of modded terraria so i never have to but the sets are actually really good so my bad if i misspoke or sound like i'm dissing the tavern keep he's actually a pretty useful npc and the old ones army event is pretty cool next up let's go to the demolitionist now this guy i'm gonna put him in b tier a very low b tier the dynamite and bombs very very useful but is it a necessity no you can beat terraria without even throwing a single bomb they just make your life easier so we're just gonna keep him in b tier he does sell some new things in this update which are pretty cool items next up let's grab the painter and other just vanity slash decoration character we're gonna put him in c tier pretty much the same thing as the clothier these two you know they're fairly similar just one sells clothes one sells paints paintings and other decorations next up here let's grab a random npc the mechanic now just like minecraft some terraria players you know they use a lot of wiring a lot of red stone whatever you want to call it a lot of mechanicals and technical stuff me personally i rarely use it at all the most i use is a timer that just drops hearts for me but even then if i don't get enough heart statues and the other things that i want i just don't find myself using them so i'm gonna give her a c tier just for me she's she's very close to a b tier just because of the heart statue thing but i find myself rarely using her next up let's get the tax collector here this dude just makes you money naturally he's not the greatest npc but because he just makes you money passively which is a thing where you can't even be mad about or be like that's a bad feature he's literally making you money for doing nothing i have to put him in b tier even though i find myself not even collecting the money half the time because i forget but passive money you would want that that's something you would want in real life so why would you not want it in terraria next up the witch doctor so it's a lot of items that you know you can use like the imbuing station fountains a couple other things that you can use he does sell the first set of wings but in terms of overall usefulness if you don't even buy those wings he's not the most useful npc unless you're running like a full dark class next up the wizard another npc that is just for a single class but his crystal ball is very useful for certain recipes and other classes so i think i have to put him in b tier just because he has overall use in a couple of classes next up party girl she is another haha -ha funny npc we put her in letter c even though i like her a lot she's really cool i love the things she sells the pogo sticks the fog machines all the new stuff she sells she sells the football she's a very cool npc she got like a high c for me next up santa claus another decoration npc with a couple other things i'm gonna put him in c man plain and simple don't use them because well for obvious reasons you only can see them one time one time a year unless you're using mods or unless you set your date to christmas let's take out the stylus another npc we're seeing a lot of people going into c c is more of they can be useful if you're playing a specific class 
or if you want to you know decorate or do anything with vanities and stuff like that and a lot of npcs are falling here obvious reasons why she's gonna fall here she is really useful in terms of her being the second ocean npc so you can get a pylon with her which is very useful but she's still c tier for me next up the merchant i'm gonna put him in b tier you no know, he's usually everybody's first npc they can sell to piggy bank useful mining headlamp useful he sells drums which are haha -ha funny he sells torches i always buy torches for him instead of crafting them because it's way more worth to just buy torches and save the gel for other things so i'm gonna put him b tier he's just an iconic npc i find myself using him all the time next up we got the die trader another npc that's just used for one thing and i will just put them into c even though they are used for the desert python so they do have some use moving on to the dryad now the dryad here is an npc that tells you about corruption you know gives you that information about corruption and also sells you a bunch of stuff for planter boxes decorations a bunch of other little things but i don't know i can't really put her in b i can't find myself to put her in b i will put her in c for now even though i love her so much favorite npc for no particular reason next up steampunker npc just off of using her to get a contaminator and just get rid of anything spreading she's going into b tier i'm noticing i don't have anything in a tier i might have to move some things around next up we got the golfer npc i love the addition of golf a very cool mechanic although i'm kind of bad at it so let's just put him in c tier another haha -ha funny but you know terraria wouldn't be terraria without the haha -ha funny stuff traveling merchant pretty damn useful he sells some insane weapons zappinators he sells the star cannon mark ii i'm putting them up here in b -tier. Too. the dude's got some heat we got the truffle npc now this npc is helpful towards sort of certain classes but i can't find myself as much as i love mushroom related things i cannot find myself putting them any higher than putting them in c tier you hate to see it. next up we got the skeleton merchant skeleton merchant c tier that's all i have to say they added in nothing for his inventory in 1.4 i believe which is kind of sad because his inventory is a little bit lacking i never find myself using strange brews barely find myself using counterweights the only thing i do buy from him is either torches spelunker glow sticks or bombs that's about it and last two npcs right here let's let's start with the old man i hate fighting skeletron skeletron is always one of the harder pre-hard mode bosses for me he's a bad dude so we're putting him in f tiers our first f tier and last but not least we got mcmoney pants here who was an unspawnable npc during the chinese new year events i believe on mobile something like that and since he's unspawnable he doesn't do much he goes in f tier he's very snazzy looking he's very snazzy looking no, I will give him that. He's got a clean fit. Now looking at this, I have nobody in A tier. So let me do some reorganization here. There you go. All right, there's my official list. I hope you guys like it. Like I said, I try to categorize them in usefulness. A couple NPCs can be moved. The arms dealer, I think I would move to C just to be fair about everything else I said about the other class specific NPCs. But I think everyone else is in a decent spot, honestly. But yeah, let me know. Send your list to me on Twitter. Nobody did that last time. I think like one person did that to me. But send me the list on Twitter. I made this list and added in the new NPCs. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you're wondering, like, Game Readers, where's all the Terraria 1.4 videos? Check out my streams. I don't know if they're showing up to everyone. I don't know how it looks like for you guys. But I've been live streaming Master Mode. And I have, like, the first six or seven streams up. And it's just hours and hours of me playing Terraria. Which I know some of you guys want to see in Master Mode. You know, my first experience with a bunch of the new stuff. And check it out. That's where all this stuff is going down right now. Uh, kind of hard to upload when I'm trying to experience the game and not spoil too much you know get everything absorbed and know everything and it's also hard to do videos especially the way that i do videos without an actual creative mode you may be like journeys mode journeys mode it's like journeys mode you gotta work your ass off to have a creative mode yeah i might just use an all items world and we'll see videos coming soon i'm trying to stay away from videos that are like hey look at this new item or hey tutorial on how to do things but it seems like that's the only content you can do right now yeah hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you all next time if you want to become a channel member you know you get some exclusive perks and you get to chat with me sometimes but yeah i'll see you all next time